we're going to put this video up. I need to say a couple of things. I got a piece in there on this video about uh, taco sacks. Somebody said he never said, I said that Scrap Hawk had said that uh, it's, not, it's, it's not a, scrapping is not a, a good business in the way that most of these scrappers are doing it. And they said he never said it. Well, I snagged a piece off of his video, and it's on this video. Uh, and he's saying the same thing I've been saying all along. It, for most of these scrappers, it's a hobby. Most of them are not making a livelihood from that. And a lot of them are getting income from uh, YouTube. And uh, in that sense, they're making money, but they're not, they're not throwing in a bunch of scrap. Uh, there's several people on there that, that uh, uh, get a lot of scrap. I can't, I'll have to pull all their stuff up. I know that, that one guy, that Canadian, uh, boy, I can't remember his whole name, but he, he, he does very well, and I love that truck he's got. He's got a truck, <laughs> that thing, <coughs> it's dump. It's a dump truck, and it's got high sides, and uh, he'll be throwing stuff over the top of it in there. But it seems like he gets a lot of scrap, and I'm assuming he probably makes his livelihood from that. Uh, uh, What's his name? Boy, I'm getting these singing moments. Good gosh almighty, what is his name? Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, man, the Canadian guy, gosh almighty, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's senior, I'm, I'm old. And anyway, well, it'll come to me in a minute. I found this uh, in the trash. And it's heavy, and it's not gold. It's, I don't know what it is. And these jewels on this thing may be diamonds. I don't know. But it's got a name on it called uh, uh, Juicy... Uh, uh, come on. You see, looks like Couture, C-O-U. Uh, T-U-R-E. So I Google that, and there is a company that puts this stuff out. And the prices on this one right here range from 52 to $90. So I had that in my $2 grab bag. Pile. I'm glad I looked it up, but I find a lot of neat stuff like that, and, and this here, I love, I, I kind of, I got a soft spot for owls anyway, I got several owls and stuff, you know, owl painting and owl vase and this owl vase, and, um, but I don't know how they did that, but it's all raised uh, paint on there, and it's, Mexico, I can't read the, it's a name, but I can't make it out. That's a keeper for me. But anyway, I just want to say, uh, I do have a piece on there with the taco stacks about what he said, and, and it's not, it's, it's, there's people that make money with this stuff, but as far as out there with a little pickup truck, and doing curbside picking, you, you can't make a livelihood with it. You can't haul enough in a day to do anything, you know, unless you think making less than minimum wage an hour is, is okay. I guess that's all right. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying it's, it's not... 
not lucrative. A lot of people put that out there that it's, oh man, like there's trash everywhere. Wow, yeah, there's trash everywhere, but you you got to get it. And it takes time, and hopefully you'll be the first one there to get it. But that's my thoughts on it anyway. But hope you enjoy the video. I, I was coming back from the grocery store, and I spotted this stuff sitting on the curb and uh, got some goodies off of that, and I got it in the back. I, I snuck it behind the house before my daughter seen it. <laughs> but she she fools me sometimes. She'll watch my videos and hear me say that. And if she's watching this, I'll hear about it. But she ain't gonna be able to see it. it it's not big stuff. Anyhow, hope you enjoy the video. That's all I got to say about that. I think. Okay. All right, got ourselves a moolah to buy a storage locker now. So I'm going to storage auction right now. I figure if I buy a locker, a small locker, I can clean it out right now. Uh, so 19 bucks. That's what we got in, in iron from garbage picking yesterday. So people have asked me, is garbage picking like a good profitable business? It's not a very profitable business. I do it as a hobby. I'm not doing it to show you guys I make a million dollars. And I enjoy trash picking because I enjoy finding random things, you know, random treasures. And of course it's fun, you know, you're saving the earth while at the same time you're making a little bit of money. They're making money. Garbage people don't have to fill up their landfills. It's a win-win for everyone. Well, shoot, looky here. I'm on the way home and I run across the trash pile that needs picking. Lord have mercy. Let's see what I can find. That's going to... I wasn't planning on... Actually, there's some shred there, but I don't want that. Let me open the trunk. I like that lamp thing, but is it glass? Yeah, it's glass. I don't like that. Yeah. I will take the lamp and that vacuum cleaner.
I'll bet you this works. Bet you it works. But these things are a hard sell when they're used. Wonder if I can cut that cord. I don't need this lamp. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take it. the truth now if I had me a little pickup I'd like to have them bed rest because they're good for a lot of things you know not for scrap but like I got a shelf that's bowing and if I had a piece of that angle iron underneath that thing that stopped that bowing. That means I have to get to the house, get it hid, so my daughter don't see it. I wonder if it will fold down. Yeah, it fold down. People probably looking out the window. You see that old fool out there stumbling around, can't hardly walk, picking up scrap. Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. Whew. I swear that's a lot of work. <sighs> Well, 
Yeah, they're probably sending this old man out here. Is he crazy? Maybe I am. I got plans for that. Little project I'm working I love that glass ball. It's probably got a light in it. Okay. Now, if I was really into scrapping, I'd be getting that crouton or sofa frame, whatever you want to call it. Oh! You know what? I usually don't go this way coming back home. Maybe I had a sixth sense or something that there was something out here. No, I don't either. I ain't been down this road in a while. Checking the neighborhood out. Oh, crap. Let's see. Where the hell am I at? Dad go. Where am I at? I don't think I can get to my house down this road, if I'm not mistaken. Good Lord. Well. No, I'm going to have to turn around and go back the other way. Well, let me look at this. <laughs> uh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Yeah, this is the road up here is the road I usually take. Yeah. Well, I watch some of these scrappers going out and jumping in dumpsters and all that stuff. And I get so envious, so jealous. I don't, I don't know if that's the right word or not, but you know, I used to could do that, and now I can't. And it just bothers me that I can't do it anymore. Oh. And something else that bothers me is I'll be walking from the car to the store, you know. And of course, I'm slow. And I'm waddling. And some of these other people be walking normal and come past me like they're doing 100 miles an hour. Or like when I go get my baby, my grand, my young grandson from school, I pull up in the driveway and he is out of the car and already got to the house and inside and shut the door. And I'm just barely getting out of the car. I ain't even stood up out of the car yet. <clears throat> and he's not running or anything. Bugs the crap out of me. This old stuff. For the birds.
I gotta get my walker so I sit down a minute. God dang it. I cannot walk long. I just happened to think I spilt my coffee on this thing a while ago and it was on the lens. I think I got it marked. I might be a smudge on it. Anyway. That's my claim. Whew. Okay. All right, now I'm going in with the stuff I'm supposed to get. I got it, and the stuff's in the back. So, oops, dropped my bread. Oh. All right. 